All right, what's going on? Just uh, doing some fasting today. Got my coffee here, and uh, I want to help you make fasting easier. See, one of my good buddies, Drew, he's been following my programs, doing the workouts, hitting the macros, but he's had a hard time implementing the fasting. And he knows that if you can do the fasting, it's going to make everything a lot more enjoyable. He'll be able to eat bigger meals. We'll get this amazing period in, in the day of fat mobilization where you have the perfect storm. You have low insulin, high growth hormone, and you're burning fat really efficiently. Um, and you're getting improvements in insulin sensitivity, in nutrition partitioning. You're having this perfect balance of uh, the catabolic breaking down fat and the anabolic supporting and replenishing your body and, 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 and replenishing your glycogen and, and putting your body in an anabolic state to grow. And having those two different distinct periods makes it easier to get subsequent fat loss and muscle gain. Um, so he wants to take advantage of that, but he had a hard time doing the fasting. So um, I've been working with him, and you know what he found out was a few things that made it a lot more enjoyable. So the first thing was that he found that he wasn't drinking enough water during the fast. And so what he found was that if he didn't drink enough water, he would actually get really, really hungry. And um, he thought, oh my God, I'm starving, I gotta eat something. But in reality, it was the dehydration that was tricking him into thinking that he needed to eat. So once he started to drink a lot more water in the morning, then he was able to fast a lot longer. So he'd wake up, he'd have a couple glasses of water, have some sparkling water, and, and then get into the coffee, and then he would feel a lot better. He'd be able to fast. Now, the second thing is it's more, I'd call it more strategic fasting because it's not technically full-on fasting, but you're pretty much almost in that fasting state and calories are still very low. And you're still getting the benefits. And you're still saving a lot of room for later, but it's to do a, a bone broth drink. So. Uh, you can go to the grocery store, Whole Foods, wherever. You can buy this you know, chicken or beef bone broth, and it's very, very low calorie. If you look at the calories on it, I think it's like 40 calories for a cup or something. So it's very low calorie, but it is super filling. You can heat that up on a pot, you can put it in a thermos to work, and when you drink it, it's gonna really fill your stomach. It's gonna, it's gonna be warm, you're gonna feel like almost really full. And the bone broth is super nutritious. You know, The human diet, we naturally, for thousands of years, we ate a lot more, um, uh, we got a lot more uh, nutrition from animals. We'd actually, you know, make stews with the bones and we get this whole source of nutrition that no one really gets anymore today. And so bone broth is really high in some really cool stuff. It's high in um, the anti-inflammatory amino acids like glycine and glycine actually improves sleep, improves relaxation. Uh, it's good for your, your gut health. Um, it's good for your joints. Uh, and call, so if you're working out really heavy, the bone broth is really helpful at keeping your joints nice and healthy. So you can definitely go out there, get a bone broth, try to have that a few hours into your fast. So don't do it first thing in the morning. A few hours in when you're starting to get hungry, try the bone broth and you'll probably get, you'll probably actually um, be a lot more full, be able to fast longer, have an apple. And that way you can get to like the six hour mark before you eat your first substantial meal. So those are two awesome tips. Now the third tip, this is something that I didn't really agree with for a while, but I'm playing around with it and I actually, I kind of have to change my answer is that um, if you're gonna be training during the fast, I used to, when I was younger, I used to play around with the BCAs and then I was like, you know what? I don't think they're making a big difference. And um, I started doing branch chain amino acids before my workouts and I find that I can train longer uh, and I don't get hungry. You know, Before, if I was doing a fasted workout, I'd be starving after and then I'd wanna eat, but if I do the BCAs, 10 grams of BCAs before training, I can, my, my workout energy stays up a lot longer and I don't get as hungry after and I, I, I feel better and I don't know if it's gonna make a difference in my training performance over time, but just the mere fact that my work, like I have more work capacity and I, I don't get as hungry, um, is helpful for me. So if you're training during the fast and you find that you get hungry during the workout, then maybe try 10 grams of branched amino acids um, um, before, your, uh, before your workout and that should help you out. So those three tips, drinking lots of water, maybe adding a little bone broth protein, a bone broth, um, protein in there um, and, and also doing the BCAs, those three can make the fasting a lot more enjoyable. So Give that a shot. I'd love to hear in the comments how that worked for you. And if one of them didn't help at all, then let me know too so I can get an assessment of you know, how helpful it is for you know, what percentage and whatnot. So guys, hope you find that video useful. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Um, share your comments. And if you're ready to start one of my programs, start doing intermittent fasting, start building that Hollywood look, then use my physique quiz. I'll put the link below. Thank you.